Hey, I call shotgun. Welcome back to Game Wolf Plays Doom. Ultimately, it is Doom. Last time I went through the hangar, and in accordance with my save protocols, I will load just before the end of the next level. It would be kind of weird if I started right as the other level started after like a few seconds passed. You wouldn't really get... You would just be missing something from the experience if you just did that. I couldn't tell exactly what, but that's just how I'm doing it. Into the new clear plant. Don't misunderestimate it. Get out your shotgun to kill guys. To kill guys at once. I cannot words, for I must words. And I will just shoot the barrels because I, I'm feeling a little OCD. I don't know. In this secret is a backpack. As you know, the backpack is full of ammo. It doubles your ammo capacity for everything. This only works after your first backpack pickup. And it also gives you some ammo and everything. That'll happen again every time you get a backpack. If you notice, it also gave me two different types of ammo I haven't used yet. One which I'm not going to get to in this episode, and another which I should get to soon. But not this level. I would have noticed, trust me. So, by, by pressing the button that secret, it's going to lead to a passage outside. There's also a key card here. There's three key cards. Red, yellow, and blue. So you need to know they open the doors in approximation with them. If you see over there that little blue circle, that's a special thing. You want this. It's called... What's it? The Soul Sphere! It just showed me for a split second, but it's the Soul Sphere! And the Soul Sphere can give you up to 200% health. It just grants you an extra 100. Really handy. And with both... A mega sphere and mega armor that I clearly both have had. I'm ready to tank stuff. Which I don't really need to. If you don't have to get hit, don't. That's my advice. That's pretty basic advice. Haven't you seen the pro tip where it's like if you shoot something it dies? We'll meet what that is. Somewhere down the road. If you don't know, then don't worry about it. It's only a spoiler to someone who already knows. That's the best part of this. The doors go up and down, and they don't go side to side. It's a programming quirk, I don't care to know how that happens, but just something you should know. Now we're in the mazy portion of this level. A bit amazing, if you ask me. And there's... there's variable lighting. You should first notice it in this level. And some source ports that use like an OpenGL hardware or something, like that, you know, if you're not using software rendering, basically, the uh, lighting will get a bit more analogish, and because of that, some stuff is brighter than it's supposed to be. There is some areas in this game that are just be, supposed to be plain pitch black to make things purposely hard to see and to allow other ways to work around it based on the level design. The game accounts for this, so yeah. That secret's special because you can only open it by shooting at it. Or presumably with your fists. The cool way is to shoot it, though. You can punch if you want. I'm not gonna stop you. This is the chainsaw. Like the fist, it is a melee weapon, but it's not attached to your hand like your fist is. If you have chain... maybe your Edward Chainsaw hands, I don't know. That'd probably be pretty cool, actually. Way better than scissors. And yes, <laughs> it is tempting to try to chainsaw a toxic bear. <laughs> you can totally do it. I don't know why you would. Maybe you just don't like yourself that day. But yeah, using this chainsaw, you can just run right into enemies without having to worry about much. Not even aim, just walk into them. Normally in this game, I don't use the chainsaw that often, actually. But it is pretty effective. Especially for the enemies that don't do this thing where they hit scan you. That's those guys with the pistols and the shotguns. The way they shoot you is they see you, they have a chance of just hitting you directly without any projectiles. It can be fairly annoying, actually. 
if you missed one backpack, here's another backpack. Just in case. That accounts for anyone who's not looking for every secret, so I feel like if you just run into one of these by accident, they... I believe the developers just want you to get a backpack. You know, backpack, backpack, loaded up with shells and bullets and rockets and cells too. Backpack. <clears throat> so yeah, if there's a Doom <laughs> Door of the Explorer mod, let me know. Plus I get to use the map, see, it's totally appropriate. And I can learn a little bit of Spanish. Delicioso! Anyway. What, what kind of tension was that, Gaming World? What are you doing? Here, I just pick off a little of these guys, because um, I got tired of hearing them so distinctly. Every particular monster makes a particular sound, so that if you don't see them, you know what's up. And, uh... Some of them are slowed down cat sounds. This is not a secret. This allows you to see the other secret that had the chainsaw in it. Going down! And yeah, the chain gun just rips into everything. Also, it stun locks them. If you didn't notice. Every monster has a particular pain chance that determines how much... How much oomph it takes from your gun. To stop them from moving and attacking. You want to do this, but it also rips into your into your bullets, which is what your pistol also uses. So if you don't want to waste chain gun. Use the pistol instead. I hope it doesn't come up too often for you. Almost done. There's just these two imps that I'm going to chainsaw, especially if they don't come up like they're supposed to. Sometimes they don't. One will just sit there and just block the exit like a goose garter. But the way they move is a bit random. It's kind of be expected. So yeah. Just like last level, I save right before when I know when the exit is. Let me pick it up. We'll go with the next one. That's enough nuclear plants for today, I think. There might have been a meltdown, but at least it wasn't coal. And yeah, I'll have more to talk about as the time I take takes longer. Every minute just adds a few more seconds, right? It's the accumulation of the time theory. Par's pretty fast, too. Are you a maniac if you want to do that? Maybe. Well, I'm Gaming Wolf, and I played a first-person shooter. Wow, that's something that always happens. Yes. Yes, it does. When we come back, E1M3 and a potential alternate route. I believe that's the next level. I shouldn't try to guess what's about to happen, even though I've played this a hundred times now. Anyway, see you next time. Bye.